Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Sanch, your host here on the Bodybuilding News Network. Welcome back to more coverage of the 2023 Cali State Championships, aka the Cali Pro. We are approximately just under, so I guess it's technically not approximately, but we are just under 24 hours out from the prejudging for the Men's Open Bodybuilding Division. At this year's 2023 Cali Pro or California State Championships, we have a very exciting lineup for you, ladies and gentlemen. As we move over to the Bodybuilding News Network Instagram page, make sure you are following as you it will keep you abreast. Yes, I said it, abreast on all things bodybuilding related, especially when we talk about the competitor list for this show. Now, we did put a post out two days ago talking about the 10 individuals that were in this lineup. We do have two additions to discuss here, so make sure you stay tuned till the end to see who is in and who is out. Starting off with Slavaj Bednar, he is going to be in this show. Uh, Wesley Boxley is also going to be here. Tony O'Burton, a favorite to win this show as well. And I'll go through my top six prediction as I also did over uh, on a podcast we did just yesterday with EP09, so make sure you check out that episode of uh, of that podcast. It was a lot of fun recording it on his channel instead of here, so it is fun to be a guest from time to time. Now, we just talked about Tonio. Uh, Nathan Dandridge is also doing the show. Rafael Del Rio, please tag me if you do know this gentleman. I could not find his Instagram page. Ross Flanagan. Uh, Flavor Gang CEO and founder is doing this show as well. Excited to see him land in the top six sneak peek. Sung Chul Lee, the Korean bodybuilder, the uh, bodybuilder of Korea, as some people say, is doing this show. He is a favorite to be in the top six as well. Josie Placencia, uh, I'm sure I'm butchering his name, but he's done a couple shows in the past. I'm looking forward to seeing how dialed he can get for this show. Stuart Sutherland as well, a favorite to be in the top three in my predictions. So make sure we stay tuned to discuss that as also uh, to mention Old School Bodybuilding Clothing Company, the best bodybuilding old school clothing company out there. Literally, it's their name. So a uh, shameless plug to them or shameful, should we say. Now, we also want to mention uh, Mari's Tomzik or Tumzik is also going to be doing this show. He looked phenomenal at the New York Pro, very conditioned. I'm excited to see him. Uh, Patrick Moore not doing this show. He says he's doing Orlando. Don't hold your breath. Who knows what this guy is going to be doing. He needs to make the redemption after the uh, lackluster presentation at the New York Pro. So that is my take on that. Now let's get into the two gentlemen that have decided that they will be doing this show. They have jumped into the lineup, shall we say. And let's go ahead and start off with Sergio Oliva Jr. Coming from Dubai, he had some legal issues with a car accident that was putting him at risk of not traveling, uh, or it did put him at risk. He was not able to attend the New York Pro and other shows uh, around that time frame. Now he has landed in California, confirmed by multiple sources on Instagram, so it is confirmed that he is in California, in Los Angeles, and he will be competing at the Cali State Pro. Now, my thoughts on his predictions, you'll have to wait till the end, because we also have Mohamed Shaban, the returning Cali State Pro champion, will also be doing uh, this show. I'm excited to see him. I have not really seen any physique updates from him uh, outside of this one photo from a day ago. I do not think he's in the best shape possible um, to do well here. I think he still needs a couple more weeks. Uh, it does look like he's going to be doing the Cali State Pro and then also doing the Toronto Pro. Um, and overall, I just don't see a lot of separation. I don't see a lot of uh, conditioning here. He needs more time uh, to really get that body nice and crisp. And that's something that we noticed at the end of last year's season was he started to look uh, washed out. He looked, the body started to look tired. And uh, that's something we don't want to see him uh, having those issues this early in the season. Now, Mohamed Shaban, is he a top six competitor? 
I do think so. I do think he's going to be landing in that top six lineup. Towards the top, I'm not sure. I think that there's, or at least I know, there's a lot of phenomenal competitors that are going to be in this lineup. And when we look at Mohamed Shaban and uh, the, the photo from just yesterday, I just don't think he's in the right shape to knock off some of these guys that have been prepping this whole time and are looking absolutely phenomenal. Sergio Oliva Jr. I think is going to be a top four competitor. I think with his structure, his uh, history, his record, um, you know what he's been able to do with his career and just the, the physique and structure alone, uh, I think that he's going to be a top four competitor. I'd like to see Ross Flanagan around that five to six spot, and I'd like to see him battling it out between uh, Maurice Tomzuk and also Sung Cho Lee. I think all, those, all three of those are going to be the four through seven. And I think the one through three is going to be Tonio Burton, uh, Stu Sutherland, and Sergio Oliva Jr. Uh, so I think that the top seven is actually going to be a really nice lineup. Uh, I, I would say that the New York Pro wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be. And it looks like with the additions of the returning champ, Mohamed Shaban, or Mo Shaban, and also Sergio Oliva Jr. I think definitely adds some excitement to the show that could have been not as lackluster. And what I'm saying here is a lot of people were saying that Tony Burton was going to win the show outright already. I even was saying that in my head that you know this is probably going to be his show to win. And then who knows if he if he's going to take a little bit of time off, do the Legion Sport Festival possibly you know get that title again uh, that could be something you could see happening uh, but with these additions I do think that that's going to make this show a little bit more exciting and for those of you to include myself as a fan that are going to be buying the pay-per-view make sure you do purchase the pay-per-view and support the sport of bodybuilding support the promoters as it does help the the, the community of bodybuilding and the sport of bodybuilding grow so please do that um, but ladies and gentlemen that's seven minutes of me sharing my predictions and the complete lineup if you did miss it on instagram like i said ladies and gentlemen make sure you follow the instagram as it does keep you abreast yes i said abreast on all things bodybuilding and fitness related here on the Bodybuilding News Network. And of course, check out EP09's recent podcast we posted just this morning talking about my thoughts, predictions, and his as well of the Cali Pro and some other very, very fun topics. I'm genuinely, I had a lot of fun recording it and not being the host. So I think you will enjoy it. Check that out. Subscribe to EP09. Let's try to get him to 2,000 subs by the end of this weekend. But ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching another installment here on the Bodybuilding News Network. Stay tuned for more things coming out here on BNN. We have exciting news coming out in the near future. If you want to purchase a very cool t-shirt just like this with a cool little uh, BNN logo on the back, a very reminiscent of a uh, Redcon one, uh, if you will say so. I do like the logo. I like the design. Make sure you go over to bodybuildingnews.net and purchase your sweet, sweet swag. And of course, I already plugged old school bodybuilding clothing company. Scott does a phenomenal job and has a great brand over there. Really good dude. And when it comes to good people, you want to support it. So uh, when you do find good people, support good people and shop locally as well. It doesn't have to be geographically. It could also be community based. Uh, anywho, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow for the prejudging coverage of the 2023 Cali State Pro.